and we're back after GNS3 decided to die on me. Um, we, after we set up those uh, ICMP denies, we're going to uh, need to interface. Oh, first we need to um, permit everything through because there's an implicit deny, so we do have to uh, go ahead and add that at the end. So we're going to do um, access list 101 deny or permit IP any any all right great um, now the nice thing is we can go ahead and check our um, our access list quite easily actually um, with right in this config line do show access CC. Boom. And there's access list. Um, deny ICMP any any echo. Deny ICMP any any echo reply. 30 permit IP any any. So, so if we go back to here, hit refresh, it should still come up just fine. And sometimes those browsers actually cache things. That's a big problem. So we're going to open it here. And go ahead and pull that up. There we go. Both browsers. Okay. So that's allowed. And once again, can't ping. So pings are being blocked, but web access is allowed. So that's the easy way to deny that while allowing things. Um, a few more things about these extended access lists and actually about access in general. A nice thing you can do is line deletion. Um, and extended access lists, you can, um, if you say access, man, lists extended 101. And that's not what I wanted. IP access list. There we go. Um, then we can do a do show access list. And it's going to show the list again. Hover from here, we can say no, and then the line number, no 30. And there we go. Um, if we show the access list, line 30 has been deleted and we now we shouldn't be able to even get to the web page since uh, it now doesn't allow any traffic to and you'll notice it's already taken longer than it should so that's how to uh, quickly delete lines which is actually a newer addition before you had, they recommended you copied it all into a text file and just copied and pasted it in because you can edit or delete it so all right, and uh, the line numbers are generated automatically. They don't have any real significance except for 10 comes before 20 and before 30. And the reason, part of the reason is, um, let's say you wanted to insert something in between 10 and 20. Well, you can actually do that. Um, let's say we wanted to uh, just put the permit any any in before. Um, so we would say um, to insert it, we would just type the line number that we want, which would be 15, and then we would do um, permit IP any any. And that should dump that right in there, and then we can go ahead and show the access list once again, and we can see that's in the middle now. So, and yep, it did not find that. Go ahead and try that again, and boom, there we go, that's up and running. And as you can see, it's still being blocked from pinging, so. Alright, for this tutorial, we have a slightly different setup. We I added uh, another client in here, and the external user out here. And this is going to be our external user trying to access resources uh, on these two internal clients. This will basically give us a, a way to show um, how 
and where to apply different filters or different uh, access control lists, you know, on the outside, inside, and all that. So, all right. I changed the internal router setup just a tiny bit. Um, show access list. Right now I just have the deny ICMP and uh, that'll basically stop any ping requests that hit this interface. I also don't have the permit any any statement in there so right now nothing is getting through so what we're going to do is uh, we have a web server on this right here so we can go ahead and we are going to um, IP access list extended 101 and now we are in the the submenu for access list and we're going to insert in at 40 we're going to do a permit and once again remember you can question mark if you ever need any help and you notice all the available protocols we used ICMP for our pings there's also IP and TCP and UDP which are the most common ones that you have to know well sometimes we're routing EIGRP and GRE and all that sort of thing um, but right now we're only worried about uh, web which is TCP and that's the first part of the protocol. We're going to specify a port number later in this command. So after we do permit uh, TCP, then uh, we're going to have source address. So the source address, we don't care. We're going to have any. And the actual source should be the destination. Um, and for the destination address, we are going to specify just a single one, the internal server. So we are going to do 172.17.10.2 and after that we can do a wildcard mask but uh, since we just have one host what we're actually going to do is go any and then do host which specifies a single uh, IP address 172.17.10.2 and then we're going to look at the EQ which equals match only packets on a given port number so we're going to equals and if this was a normal web server we would do www or 80 however however since I actually have the setup on port 8082 we're gonna go ahead and go with that port number um, just so that we can actually get through and that should set that up and let's see let's just make sure and apply that all right great and test machine 2 and go ahead and not there and then we go to And there we go. We can pull up the site just fine. However, we can't ping. So, that's one more way to get that all working correctly. Alright, for this next tutorial, with this interface being used to block external uh, pings and pretty much everything except web access to this, let's say for some reason we want to block the internal client from accessing the internal server. Um, and that uh, for whatever reason we want to block entire access so it's not able to even touch that server. Um, first off this is actually going to take just a standard ACL then so let's do access ACC access list and we'll call it 2 Oops, standard standard and we'll call it 2 and first thing we're going to do is deny and then we're going to do uh, a single host address um, host and then we're going to enter 172.17.10.2 